Well, this is a show about ladylike habits you need to stop, so we're going to move on to another bodily function that women feel a need to conceal. Stifling a sneeze. Anyone guilty of this? Sure. You're in a public yeah. place. You feel like it's inappropriate, and 30-plus percent of women report regularly doing this. You hold the sneeze in. And it's not a good thing. Can I show you what's going on here? It's been shown, actually, let that sneeze out is good for you. Not only are you getting rid of those foreign bodies in the air, but it stimulates those little hair cells, those cilia, to keep you to get rid of things which you want to prevent from getting illness. But... If you hold that sneeze in, you may have a blowout. You're pushing all that air into your sinuses. Let's go with a little pink since we're talking That's about right, lemon. Right. So when you, when you blow all that air in here, you can put extreme pressure in your sinus, which in turn can put pressure on your orbit. You actually can get bleeding into your orbit. You can get extra pressure that can uh, pop a blood vessel in the brain. We know that this communicates to your ear you can pop an eardrum from holding in a sneeze, so the answer is let it so out. So it's almost, you're still sneezing, but you're sneezing into your sinus cavities mm -hmm. instead of right, out you're blowing into the air. it all back instead of letting it out. There's a reason that we do these things. And so instead of holding a sneeze in, you know, maybe use your elbow or carry an extra set of tissues with you. Because if you're sick and you're constantly holding your sneezes in, your body is trying to get rid of those foreign pathogens. It wants to get all of that out. So allow yourself to do it. You can still do it in a ladylike way, whether you're a man or a woman. That's right. And uh, just don't sneeze on someone else. <laughs>